I know, I know, I know. You're the popular one. Everybody loves you and everyone's gonna hate me for this. I get it, okay, I get it. I, I, I've tried, I swear to God I've tried. I've tried to see things from your perspective. I just, I, I, I can't, okay? <sighs> Fine, you, you know what? Fine, let's just, let's give it another shot. I'm, I'm tired of arguing. So let's just, let's just try again, okay? I'm probably being crazy anyway. What's up? My name is Chris Tejas. I'm a photographer and videographer based in Ontario, Canada. I mostly shoot portraits, events, weddings. If there is a person, I'm gonna photograph them. I've probably tried shooting on a 35 millimeter lens like 50 times over the years. And every time I just feel like I want a 28 or a 50 or an 85 or, or, or anything other than that 35 millimeter lens. Maybe it's just too difficult of a focal length for me. Maybe I just don't see the world like that. Maybe I'm just a hater on the 35 millimeter. But no matter the reason, it seems like no matter what system I've been on over the years, I've always kind of skipped over that 35 millimeter focal length. It, with one exception actually, which was the Fujifilm 23 millimeter F1.4, the original one, which is a 35 millimeter focal length equivalent. But even that didn't really last too long. But when I traded my Lumix camera for the Canon R5 and a 35 millimeter F1.8, I made a decision, a promise to myself that I would really give this focal length a try and figure it out so that I could add it to my arsenal and feel confident shooting with it. And after a few weddings, some family shoots, and a whole bunch of video work, I think I'm actually starting to get it. So it's enticing to try and talk about this particular 35 millimeter lens, but I don't think that it's really about this lens in particular. It's more about me shifting into the type of photography where a 35 millimeter makes more sense. Not because I've like reached 35 millimeter level or something like that, but really just because I got this lens during a very busy couple of weeks in my photography life and I was kind of forced to use it. And because of that, I was forced to figure out how to make it work for me best in a way that I haven't really had the necessity in the past. So I guess it's sort of like immersion therapy for photography. But I want to get out there and take some photos. So if, if you're somebody who struggles with the 35 millimeter focal length, maybe this will help you figure out how to put it into your workflow a little bit better and give you some inspiration or at least allow you to commiserate a little bit. Okay, so it's 24 hours later and eagle-eyed viewers will be able to tell a little something different about me. Um, okay, uh, I was gonna go out last night, but it started to pour rain, and then I remembered that actually today is the last day of the Baden Cruising by the Pond uh, thing. I don't know what to call it. It's like a car show. People show up with all their classic cars, and I thought that would be kind of cool. So I'm gonna take you there. We're gonna take some photographs and talk a little bit more about why I love the uh, Canon RF 35mm f1.8 why it's been working for me. And uh, we're gonna do it all on this GoPro because uh, I have a GoPro now. Okay, so when I say that like it's never really worked for me, the 35 millimeter focal length, what I really mean is that like I have had trouble composing with that focal length. It's not that I haven't liked some of the images I've gotten out of it. It's just that I've found it honestly just a little bit difficult, uh, a little bit tricky to get nice photos. And if I have lots of time to take a photo, I can compose it well with 35 millimeters. But I have found in things like wedding days and stuff like that, it's just, it's tricky. It, it's hard because uh, if it's not how you normally see the world, it makes it more difficult to, uh, to get those photos quickly and efficiently. And that's kind of the name of the game in something like weddings or events, which is what I shoot a lot of. So that guy didn't want me taking his photo. So you didn't see it. Um, this was cool. I, I don't know anything about cars, but um, this is pretty. I think I'm drawn to red cars. You'll probably see throughout the video is that I take a lot of photos of red cars. But this was neat. This guy um, was like taking the roof off and these dudes were just loving it. They were loving it. Uh, I don't know anything about all this kind of stuff, but it seemed cool. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why a roof comes off like that. You might know if you know cars. Uh, but 35mm was actually perfect for this because it allowed me to uh, capture a lot more of what was going on. On a 50 I probably, I mean I could have just stepped back, but from where I was, I was able to still get a little bit of what was going on. You can see the little like Baden sign in the background, all the other cars. 
It really does lend to environmental portraiture, which is what I really like. And, and typically I would use a 28 mil for that. But uh, in this scenario, using a 35 worked really well. And oh man, look how dreamy this car is. It looks, I don't know, it looks like something the Karate Kid would have like worked on and cleaned up and then ended up photographing. Uh, I, what I liked about this was just getting that light coming in and seeing a little bit of what the um, the sort of like bokeh does and and the light leaks and stuff like that with not light leaks. What's the word I'm looking for? You know, I'll put it. In, I'll put it somewhere. I don't particularly like that photo. I just I, I like the dude looking at it. I thought that was funny. This dude was great too. He was talking the whole time. I, I snapped a bunch of photos of him. Uh, but uh, these were the ones I kind of like this kind of off kilter shot here just after he waved and uh, and yeah he was chatting with an old dude about who was gonna win this guy right here chat with him about who's gonna win the 50 50 draw which is adorable it's my small towns rule uh, just playing with some composition here trying to get a few different things and then hey I saw me and I thought I'll photograph me why not there I am cool Old trucks are neat, 35 millimeters neat too. Um, so yeah, 35 millimeter also is allowing for a little bit more to be in focus on that like plane there, which is kind of cool, so you can see a little bit more. I don't know, this guy seemed neat. He seems cool, right? Uh, you can tell he's cool because of all the stickers as well. Um, yeah, I've been really liking having this lens to be able to just capture a little bit more than I normally would. Normally I would just shoot everything a bit tighter like that shot of the hand there. I shoot a lot of stuff like that to be honest but backing up a little bit getting a little bit more in focus and, and creating a composition that tells a little more of a story I think is something that you can do with a 35 uh, just as well as you can with a 50 but you know obviously in tighter spaces it, it helps I really like these photos I did two uh, two different focuses there so one with the guy in focus one without and then some corn and then me and this guy talked about corn and Arnold Schwarzenegger and if I could win in a fight against him. Took a picture of my corn? Yeah. Yes. I love that you're selling corn on the side. That's just nice. I, I just live down the street and it's, it's, uh, I just love that this is here every week and it's nice to see. That's Historic. All. Yeah, you got memories. Eh? Yeah, it's special. So it turns out, I guess I kind of like 35 millimeters now. Hmm. To be honest, I didn't really see that coming. I've talked a lot in the past with photography friends about how I just don't get the 35 millimeter focal length. And you know, to a degree that's probably still true, but I'm getting better with it. And I'm getting to a point where I understand where I can use it effectively. And I'm actually reaching for it more often than I reach for like my 50 millimeter in a lot of cases, which is strange because 50 millimeter, middle meter? 50 millimeter used to be my kind of go-to focal length. And in a lot of cases it still is, but I don't know, I just, I feel myself branching out more and it's kind of cool to have the opportunity to do that with a lens like this. So thanks for watching. Hope this uh, was insightful in some way. Hope you got to see some photos you liked or at very least you got to have something to distract you for a few minutes from whatever it is you're distracting yourself from. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.